Well, good morning. Uh, today we're on a special sort of mission that I've uh, been looking forward to for some time. Today we're down at the um, St Kilda boat ramp and um, yeah, so this is going to be a little bit of a different episode. We're uh, going to be um, chasing some King George Whiting today, possibly some squid and also snook. Uh, and we'll be fishing with another YouTuber, Greg from Bloke on a Boat. Yeah, it's going to be great. It's going to be calm all day with the wind dropping down, hopefully. Yeah. And there's a whistle and a light for attracting attention. Everything to remember with this boating. Yeah. Make sure you... Got your, got your bungs in? <laughs> exactly. Yeah, this is under 4.8 metres, so I have to wear them all the time. Yeah, yeah, that's right. It's the law. Yeah. It's the law of the day. You're only in the four knots here. Speed yeah, we're halfway through the outgoing tide. And when's incoming then? Uh, lows at uh, three hours time. Howdy, how we going? That's about as choppy as it's going to get today. I hope so. <laughs> <laughs> I might be a little bit lumpy for a while, but trust the uh, the weather guys. It'll be uh, yeah. getting a bit uh, a bit smoother as the afternoon goes on. A rig in here that I made up last night. Get it out without pulling everything else out. You've so the, the rig we've got today, standard sort of Paternoster whiting rig, um, size six, Gamakatsu hooks, long shanks with the Starlo tackle worm burners. Have you seen these, Greg? I don't think I've shown you these. No, I haven't. So I've heard you mention them. These are the, so they look like the head of a, a blood oh, worm. Oh, nice. <laughs> Excellent. Um, good, good leader guards too. If you're catching um, any puffer fish. Yeah. Well, the only uh, problem with this area is there is can be an abundance of undersized ones. Right. The main challenge is to get through the undersized ones to the to the 34s or 36 centimetre ones, which are, which can be here. Just got to find them. So just off the back of the boat. Yeah. Well, let's see what the weeds like down there. If there's sand, we shouldn't pick it up in the hooks, but if there's weed, no, it feels right. We're about 10 metres off my normal spot, so we're in the area. So do you throw out barely much? No. No? No, I don't. Ooh, we had a bite. Uh, yes. Um, no, I don't normally have to burly. Tend to find that uh, if they're here, they'll go for it. If they're not, but if you burly up, you'll get all sorts of stuff in. What are you fishing with pound wise? Three kilo, I think it is. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, yeah, three, six, six pound. pound, yeah. Yeah, uh, eight pound leader. Yeah, mine will be like uh, eight pound. Yeah, mine will be a bit smaller than that, but bottom hook's gone again. They normally let you know if they're here. Yeah, that's right. The whiting aren't they shy. They don't play around. Aren't shy biters, usually. I might do that drag up. I've got a bit of Hollywood drag on. Yeah, I normally leave my drag pretty loose because. Uh, well, it sounds better for the video, doesn't it? Well, and it, well, yeah, and, and it, um, oh. weedy whiting. Uh, that's probably what's uh, clogging your baits. Not, not a bad size here. That's not what we're here for. No, normally if you're in the weed, you get weedy whiting. That's right. <laughs> so I think we might be in the weed. Some of these sand patches are pretty small. All oh, right. Yeah, nine square metres, you know, three metres by three metres. Or, so you just dob in the middle of that, and that's where they're uh, they're feeding. Hanging around. Oop, another bite. <sighs> Something. That's yeah, another weedy. 
So we're going to move? I reckon. <laughs> See if I can get back onto my spot exactly, and then we should be over a sand patch. Man, it's a pity we can't to see the... The bottom. Makes it really hard, because you need to be in the... In the sand. In the patchy sand, yeah. yeah within a, we're in about ten, within a 10 metre radius of the sand patches. Yep. But normally you can make them out. No, I'm getting weird, I think. Yeah. Might just cast a bit further out because there's patches of weed all through here. But right. Normally you can just pick it up, but they won't be in the weed. We might have a, weed, a sand spot just yeah, about I'm four metres bite. out. Yeah, got him. That's where they are. Uh, little these two. Yes, baby. Just a baby bit. Go back, mate. Mum and Dad. That was interesting on the top hook. Yes. I've made up a three-hook rig. So we've got a, like a rig that's a hook that's further up. Yeah. Because that's, uh, that's been working. Yeah, top hook straight away. Whereas the trailing hook is not as, uh, wasn't, hasn't been as successful as it used to be, but oh, so okay. they're sort of up in the water column a bit further. Yeah, normally you'd think the trailing hook. No, they're uh, even the bigger ones were, were on the uh, top hooks. Right. So that was uh, something a bit different. I've got a bit of squid we might pop on too because they'll take the bait off, take the uh, cockle off real quick. Yes. You only get one chance, especially these small ones. Have you been ones. getting much squid or baitly? Yeah, yeah, just a few. Just enough a bit of bait and a feed. So we can, probably a low tide, we'll head up, we'll drift over that, uh, that spot. Yep. Which is not that far up here actually. Out the back. Oh, that's weird. I think I've just been baited. I got that one. Mm, getting a little bit bigger. Mm. Not, uh, not really what we're after, eh? No. It's good to see there's plenty out there, eh? Yeah, there's plenty of stock here. Just don't quite know where the big ones have gone because the last time I came out, they had the same problem. Just, I think I've got three double headers of undersized ones in a row. It's just ended up, ended up moving because it's... Yeah, unless the big ones come on. Mm. If they're not here, they're not here, unfortunately. Nope. Come on, give a decent bite. Oh, that looks like a bigger one. It's getting there. Not big enough, though. Just, they're getting bigger, though. That's 28 or something like that. Top hook again. Definitely getting bigger. As that sun gets a bit higher, we might better pick out the sand patches a bit better. Yes. That'll help us, I think. We can move around a bit until we find a... It's about 11 a.m. in the morning now, yeah. I think. Yeah, 11.30, yeah. 11, 11.30? Yeah. yeah. We are running into low tide, so... Yeah, they might just be... That, because it gets, obviously gets shallower. Yeah. So whether that's going to affect the... Because I'm normally uh, on the opposite end of the tide. For some reason today, obviously coming up to a dodge. I think Wednesday's getting pretty poor. Thursdays there's hardly any tide, I think. Right, okay. Not that you can't catch fish on a dodge tide. No. It's a good excuse though if you don't. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> oh, a dodge tide wasn't expecting to catch anything. <laughs> yeah, that's it. The guy always going to have an excuse. <laughs> Was the moon or? What is it, like four metres, three metres? Depth wise? Yeah. 3.3. .3. Oh, right. Yeah, it's gone down. A couple of bites there, but yeah, I'm getting small bites, but nothing they're not very convincing, <laughs> and they're not taking all my bait. So, no, lovely day though, beautiful, isn't it? No complaints, boy, boy. Oh, taps, taps, taps. Got one. Finally, not big. Oh, I don't sweep. <laughs> now they bite, then drag you into the weed. Yeah. Enough. So you get a bite, and it goes tight, and then. Uh, yeah. Yeah, that's what that's what they're doing. That's I think the weedies do that. The weedy whiting down at Warlty too, off the bay, like fishing just over the patch of weed. Yep. Into a sandy patch, and yeah, keep getting dragged in. Yeah. Got him yeah. that time. This feels all right. It might be a double header. No. That's a bit to see when you're against the tide as well. Yes, it is. Uh, yeah. But he's not. They feel like they're a reasonable fish. He did feel like a reasonable fish, but he's not. He's probably only 26 centimetres. Uh, well hooked through the jaw. Can 
go back. Down you go. Tap, tap. You get him? Yeah. Yeah, they're all that yeah. same size, aren't they? Yeah, I think we'll... Uh, now we're getting a bit more visibility. We'll see if we can find another spot. Yeah, I think so. Right, species, wrong size. Yeah. But yeah, as you but said it before, plenty of stock out here. Yeah, there is, yeah, that's no, good. Oh, I got him. Which is good, good. Yeah, they do feel big pulling yeah. them in against the tide. Oh, he's absolutely nailed that one. Hang on, just get that. Now yeah, they're all about the same size. Yeah, nice big spots on it. That real king jaw. Oh, seriously, here we go. There we go, there we go guys. Oop. We're just uh, hunting out our next uh, sandy patch and it looks like we found one on the sounder. It's just a little bit not clear with the water. Bombs away with the anchor. Yeah, looks good back here. Like right on the edge of the weed line here. Yeah, that's behind, underneath us. I and reckon the patch is just out there. If you, if we cast to the left here. Yeah. Just see, we, yeah. If you just cast out there, because I've got weed uh, sand just there. Yeah. So if I cast out this side, we might try. Seeing the uh, it's calming down, if we go out to that patch, you know, I went out with uh, when you last trip out with us. Yeah. I've been out there for ages because I've been catching squid in this spot, but normally the water's a lot clearer. Cool. Let's and a bit it. less weed. So it might be a bit better out there, perhaps. Yeah. Well, I'm saying that. I reckon I've got. Yep, got one on. Small one. Now you're literally. Oh, oh, he's so baby, he fell off. He's so small, he fell off. Yeah, he's so small, he fell off. You know, just, uh, just going for the small. Inku in the uh, size 2.5. Should hopefully not get as much weed. And also it won't sink as quickly in this sh two, three meters we've got here. I think we'll go out, see what the waves are like out further. It's calm enough for us and uh, see if there's anything out there. Okay. It's chopped up a bit now to what it was. Yeah, a bit. Just in the last 10 minutes, yeah. five minutes. Yeah, the water is, oh, the water is murky. But we're in four, four point, only five metres of water here. Yeah? Yeah. Oh, it's good on already. That was quick. Not a bad size. Oh, he's a good size. He's all right. Yeah, on the uh, on the Inku Glow yeah, Tiger. Yeah. How goes that, eh? Well done. Let's check if we're recording here or not. First one in the bucket. Look, oh, there's one fine. there. There could be a... Finally got uh, something to go home with. Yeah. Oh, he's a bit, a bit wobbly. Yep, yeah, get him down there. There's another one. Dropped on a uh, patch of them. He's a Straight Come on, on this one. Straight down. It's not sinking very fast, is it? That's another one. Yeah. Good work. Good size too. Yeah, it's good eating size. Yeah, just straight below the boat. Might have 
have to uh, put the heavier jig on. This is not wanting to really float down. And might need to change over to the Glow Tiger as well. There is a bit of sun going going through that water now. So Yeah, I must have just dropped it right on their heads, I reckon. They're obviously not a religious man. Going, you didn't go to church today. No. <laughs> this is my church out here. This is your church? This is my church. That's it. Okay. Commune with nature or whatever they say. You never know. Unless you have a go, Ooh. eh? Don't fall in, Matt. Might give this soft plastic a bit of a whirl. Might be some flatties or something. Yeah, we're just about bottom of the tide, I think. Yeah, I reckon we are. No, it's very interesting. They've been in my top five. Nana guy I really like. Um, flathead, obviously. Yeah, well, flathead's my favourite, but because you don't then, get them very often, you know? Yeah. They're a real treat. They get them a lot easier over on the uh, east coast, you know, around the sand flats. and. But here, yeah. but I saw a guy go out, he's only made a couple of videos. He went out, went out, sort of out from Port Adelaide. Mm -hmm. Targeting flat, he was getting flatheads all right, so but I think he was in about 10 meters of water, right? So, so whether there is areas here that are more flathead country, I don't know. You well, know, I reckon we'll move, Matt. There's, oh, okay, there's nothing yeah. here that I can. We'll go back to where there's another spot not far from here that have, have been reasonably reliable for squid. We are pretty much on the bottom of the low. At the moment, uh, it's about two o'clock, quarter past two. Yep. And um, the plan is to get some squid here um, and then hopefully run back in and see if on the incoming tide, the larger whiting are, are firing up. That's the plan. It's good to have a plan. Oh, no, that was weird, I think. As soon as you, on these inky jigs, as soon as you, you can really feel the extra weight straight up. Mm. It doesn't even have to be a lot of weed. I think the water is actually a bit burky today for it, the, it is. the squid. They seem to love it when it's uh, nice and clear. Nice and clear. And obviously, early morning, yeah, um, evenings time is even better. But uh, you know, I normally catch a few, so I, I guess we have, haven't we? Yeah, we've caught two. We've caught a couple, but yeah, the water's. We got bait. We've got bait, and yeah. the water's really murky. Yeah, you can see the jig in the water there. Just how murky it is. Your visibility be only a few meters. Yeah, if you're lucky. Though squid do have the big eyes, so I don't know if that helps them in. Well, I don't know if it be certainly in low light areas, but whether it be in, in the when the water's this dirty, I don't know. Yeah. So we'll have to kill a bit of time before we get a bit of water movement in the channel. Yep. So probably at least. About three o'clock, Brats? Yep. Works for me. Then Could we'll find it, much worse things to killing time doing. And then give it a... But there are whiting in this spot too, so probably okay. would pay to at least put one whiting line down. Yep. But being a dead, dead low tide, probably not the most opportune Productive. time to do it, but let's do it anyway. We'll see if you catch some whiting, and then if you do, I'll swap this back over to the whiting rig. Yeah, well, let's see, eh? I'm not uh, not thinking I will, but you won't without a line, in, line the in the water. Can't really see what the bottom's like here, but... You're probably going to pick up a big flathead. <laughs> I've caught a flathead here before, but, yeah. you know, a flathead, I think, once. Yeah. Plenty of uh, leather jackets and a few whiting. But normally you need some uh, water movement yeah. for fish generally. Um, do we have a squid on there? <laughs> it's very taut. Oh, damn. No. Weird. Sort of like it was, you know, taut and then going... Well, there's no real water movement, is there? No, everything's pretty slack. I don't do a lot of burling because uh, in the past, you know, the, if the whiting are in those areas we were earlier, you, you don't have to burly. Yeah. They're either there or they're not. 
Yeah, and um, if you barely get all the shitties in. Well, yeah, then you've got to be careful what you bring in. So that's sort of what we've been doing, but the last month has been getting harder, and uh, the smaller ones have been so dominant. I spoke to him on the boat ramp. Um, he got he was out for quite a while. He got two keepers, but the rest were all undersized, and I got a heap of undersized and no keepers. So it has changed a little bit in the last month. It seemed to be harder to find the big ones. Yeah. Okay. What is that? A bit of coral. Huh. Don't know what it is. It's weird. No, it's like a sea cucumber or something. It's not rock. It's like yeah, it wants to squirt, squirt. It's a squirter. We got a squirter. Weird. So yeah, it looks like it's a rocky sort of bottom. What have I got on? What do you got? Probably a big bit of weed, perhaps. Or a crab. A crab, yay. Oh, he looks nasty. Just a rock crab. <laughs> He's like, can I go back now? Yeah, okay, mate. See you later. Have fun. The boats are thinning out now. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Hopefully there won't be a nine. rush later on in the day. Though. Yeah, a lot of people go in about this time. You'll see the endless stream of boats going in. Yeah. Most people go out early, and that's something that I don't know whether they have more success, I don't know. A lot of them go out a lot deeper too, which is something I haven't done. Yeah. A day like this, you could go out to, you know, 10 metre water and stuff. You figure that, you know, if you don't know where you're going, that's, what's the point? Yeah. So I'm thinking of upgrading the sounder to get something a bit better high definition. Yep. So that at least I can get a bit better idea of what the, the bottom's like. Because the low definition is, uh, is good, it works really well. But if you're trying to pinpoint spots, I think uh, something with a bit more definition would uh, be good. Okay, try that again. Yeah, hopefully this tide turns soon. Yeah, it's not going anywhere, is it? No. Oh, that's why if you go back in the channel, the tide will, be, will start running quicker than out here. So probably if we give it another five or 10 here, then head back in and set ourselves up. You want a little bit of movement to get your boat in the right spot. Yes. Or, you know, you just drift around in the breeze sort of thing, and that's a bit frustrating when you've got a line on the bottom. Um, I don't know if we want to go back and set ourselves up there. Up to you, Captain. Don't think much happening here. So there is another spot I've got here, not that far from here, but I think we're going to have the same result. I think the water's just too murky. Um, but the widening are uh, there for the catching, so let's... Uh, I reckon let's do that, eh? Radio guys, move or spot number six. <laughs> Can't say we haven't put the hard yards in today. We've seen a fair bit of territory. The joys of fishing. Yep. Yeah, yeah, the, the water carries. It does. The voices carry a long way over the water. You think someone's right next to you and look, yeah. and they, you know, they're half a k away. Especially when it's dead quiet, dead calm. Yeah. You can almost hear their conversations. Of course, all of our conversations are highly intellectual. Oh, well, yeah, definitely worth listening to. <laughs> a couple of intelligent chaps like us. I reckon I might just uh, go forward a bit more. Yep. Because when, when they start biting, we want to be in, in the, the right position spot. we want to be in, otherwise we'll... Waste a lot of time. Yeah, there we go. So we patch, it starts from this side right around about three metres behind the boat. Mm -hmm. There's a whole patch here. So I reckon that's as good as we're going to get, I reckon. It's good to me. Oh, had a bite. Had a bite? Yes, a very small one. Yeah, well there should be small widening here for sure. And it was right here where we lost audio on the wide view. 
I'm not sure if you guys are going to be able to <coughs> see it, but uh, yeah, first time today we've actually been able to see the bottom. We're in about two to three meters. Coming just off the low, about half an hour ago. Don't do that deliberately. What's that? Pick my side. <laughs> <laughs> That's all right. It is the luck of the draw with it. It's a tiny hole though. Okay, we'll just hang it back on the anchor now. Mm -hmm. So what have we got here? There's one straight out the back. Yeah, that's pretty good down further out there. Yeah. All right, guys, well, we're going to hopefully uh, clean up on some whiting now. We got the. Oh, what am I doing? We got the dual uh, squid and cockle, squid and cockle bait on, so they got no excuses. We're just going to go out the side here, and Greg's got his on the other side. Is that a squid jag as well? You got out. It's a good idea. Well, I've got, yeah, so got this little nice hole at the back. Slimy, slippery suckers. Just good to see another fish. Yes, well. It's been a long day. Once the, the, tide, the water moves a bit, they will definitely start biting. Oh, the three. Is that what you've been fishing all day? No, no. no. This, is, this, is a, this is the special three this, hook this is rig. A, this is a, a rig that I've flogged off of the mate, Neil. Okay. Yeah, it fished me the other day quite considerably with this rig to bear the mine too. Well, if you had 30% more hooks. Yeah, well, that's right. <laughs> oh, yeah. But they were biting on the top hook. 50% more hooks. <laughs> right on the very top hook, yeah. which is. Oh, that's a better fish. You're on like Donkey Kong. Nah, just pulling against the. Yeah. Some of them fight. But they were biting on the top two hooks, whereas I was only had one. One top hook and one one bottom hook. Yep. So I made some up to see whether or not it was just good fishing. Yeah. He is. He's a really good fisherman. Or good. Or it was the good rig. rig. I well, think it's probably the fact that he was a better fisherman than me. <laughs> well, you're definitely a better fisherman than me at the moment. It's, well, I'm not even getting a bite. Well, see, I, I mean, type of hooks. Might need. This is his. This is his design. Yeah. yeah. Right, okay. So the with the beads? Yeah. Uh, smaller hooks than I use. I use number twos or fours. These are yeah. I think sixes. Yeah, I've got sixes. Smaller hooks, yeah. And with the three beads. Yep. Yeah. Makes use it stand three out. Beads. And these are luminous. Mine yeah. are just glass beads. Right, okay. So hence well, I thought, well, I'll give it a go. Well don't give away all your secrets. No. <laughs> now Neil's secret's not mine. <laughs> I checked with him. Said, hey, "Is it all right if I?" He said, "Yeah." I think they're being a bit picky. I hadn't. Yep, That's a bit better. Yeah, mm. it's still the same. See the top. See the yeah. top hook. Right on the top hook. The very top hook, and that's what what he was getting. When I have caught a fish today, I just haven't caught many. <laughs> well, we've got none in the bucket, so. Yeah, doesn't right, so they don't really count until we get. No. Now we're sitting perfect. Look yeah, at that. Well, that was the idea. That one alright. Oh, he's a better size. Yeah. He fought well. <laughs> yeah, they're loving these the, the higher hook. Oh, he went the other way. He didn't swim back where he was, he went left. So yeah, I'm getting out of here. I'm going back there. A little bit better. Yeah. I think you've got the magic uh, touch and the magic Rig. <laughs> You've done it again. Bottom hook, that one. I'm just getting bites, I can't seem to hook them. Yeah, mine fishy, fishy. Now we're at that stage, are we? <laughs> uh, or anything. <laughs> Monday was a, a no fish day. We caught plenty, but mm -hmm. none to take home. Yeah. In the time before that, I went out with Neil. I caught none to keep. He caught, I reckon, six keepers on this rig. Yeah. Yeah. Caught plenty of undersized ones, but he mm -hmm. was catching the. But they're all on those top hooks. You're going to have to start selling these rigs, mate. Well, I've got to prove it first. <laughs> well, you certainly have fished me today on it. Killing it, boss. Oh, I'll get it in a minute.
Ladies and gentlemen, he's done it again. There's going to be some good summer whiting. <laughs> oh, well, yeah, they don't take long to grow. <laughs> nah, tiny again. When you can see through them, you know they're small. Well, at least we're catching, well, you're catching something. <laughs> I was going to say, at least we're catching something. You're catching something. It's very frustrating. Oh, I got one. Am I recording on my camera? I don't know. <laughs> I'm going to play this one out, guys. It's probably the only one you're going to see on the video. Just a baby. Just a baby. But we got one, so that's sort of... Oh, they're... They're very uh, strong fish. Just in case it's not recording on the head cam, guys. Well, that was a long day's fishing, but I really appreciate it, Greg. We didn't improve on those King George whiting, unfortunately, only taking home the two squid for a fee. On the way back, we decided to get out the drone and get some awesome footage of Greg's little boat. Unfortunately, I nearly took bloody Greg's head off. Sorry about that, mate. I do hope that I get an invite back. Perhaps if all of you watching give Bloke on a Boat a subscribe, he can forgive me. I've got some awesome content coming up in the next few weeks, so make sure you're subscribed.